Well, the use of thermal imaging cameras and taking the temperature of staff are two of the many measures being put in place to ensure that people can get back to work. One firm changed the way it works before the lockdown and was able to carry on through the crisis. Our business correspondent Mark Goff explains. At this factory in Draycott in Derbyshire, they make catering equipment and now mobile sinks for hospitals. And they've already got strict measures in place. The canteen is two at a time and staff don't share tools anymore. We set the, the assembly cells up so that there's sufficient um, room to maintain social distancing while ever two guys work in that cell. We set these assembly cells up with separate uh, compressed air lines. So normally there was one compressed airline supplying, but now there's two drop down. So they can work individually. And they've, all, they've all, always had their own um, separate hand tools, but the air tools used to be communal. The other thing we did is we increased the um, hand wash facilities. So because we're making the mobile hand wash basins, um, it's quite easy to, to, to set them up in each cell. So the guys can um, um, wash their hands as much as times as they want, really. You know, it's giving the guys confidence and they're making them feel comfortable at work. But from tomorrow, there are government guidelines which businesses should follow. There are separate guidelines for factories and warehouses, construction sites, shops, offices and restaurants doing takeaways. They include increasing the frequency of hand washing and surface cleaning, making sure people wash their hands when they get to work, avoid working face to face and instead work back to back or side by side staggering start and finish times and introducing one-way systems in and out of workplaces. But the government insists that working from home, if possible, should still be a first option. Today, JCB, with factories in Staffordshire and Derbyshire, said employees must self-assess for COVID-19 symptoms before leaving for work. Everyone will have their temperature taken when they get to work. Staff will be given masks or visors and later this month thermal imaging cameras will be installed in their factories to check if anyone has a high temperature. Extraordinary measures for extraordinary times. Mark Goff, ITV News.